Now here's what we have today. I wish you'd look here. We got us a, this is parts of a 40 pound beaver. But we aren't gonna cook all 40 pounds of it. I mean, it's tempting, but I got to save some of my mother-in-law's coming. Anyway, back to the beaver. We got the little, little nice little tender pieces of this beaver cut up like this. And now what we're gonna do is just salt this beaver right on up. I should have had this stuff open to start with. It's pretty lean. It's a, it's a real nice little tender meat. And a lot of people like the beaver tail. I'm going to tell you something. I check them tails out, and I just don't see much to eat there. It didn't look appetizing like this did, so I'm going to pass on the beaver tail. I always got to put my little cayenne pepper on just about everything except pumpkin pie. I use nutmeg on it, and I really would like more than that, but Nan's got to where she fusses at me all the time. She, it's too hot for her. You know, I don't know if you know, when I met Nan, she worked with a logging company. She was a chainsaw mechanic. And so Nan grew up <laughs> around the logging camp eating a lot of beaver. And Nan really got me into beaver more, put me some garlic on it, got to have a little garlic on it. And uh, do you use garlic powder in it? I use fresh garlic in most of our recipes. We use garlic powder from time to time. Most of the time it's fresh. Most of the time fresh it's fresh. Garlic. Let me Thank get you. something from right here. Well, I mean, you know. <laughs> <laughs> with beaver, I think probably you're all right. So now I sprinkle a little of this little magic powder on there. This is something that I can't share with everybody. What I do, this is a, I find it a very good item for cooking beaver. It's a spinach or salad container, like you see these salads come in, or spinach sure. come in. Well, and I it like just, the idea you recycle it. Yeah, and so I just put me some flour right in there. We got to hurry up because I got to get my gravy ready. And we're just going to drop this in here like this. And when I shake it, the top's gonna probably come off. Well, let me and, shake it for you. And okay, you, you, start it on your gravy. you get it flowered. And I tell you, I've been telling y'all about there's an easy way to make gravy. And one thing, if I'm gonna eat beaver and biscuit and rice and gravy and all that, I like to have healthy gravy. And you know, when this mess of putting grease in the pan and and all that, all that grease down my barren table is not healthy for me. So I make my gravy different. I just put me some flour in a bowl, and I just pour me some cold water. And hot water don't work real well. Why is that? It'll make it lump, right? And, well. and I whisk it. And you know what? I bought a right-handed whisk, and I really had rather whisk with my left hand, and it just won't work right. But I whisk all these lumps out of this, and if we get that pot going right there, we'll be getting this working. We get all the grease getting hot back over there. We'll have that ready in a minute. Well, I hope I can do all this in an hour. Got all these people sitting in here waiting for beaver, and I know that would make them very unhappy if I had to take them to McDonald's or Burger King or Cracker Barrel to eat. So now we're gonna pour this right down in here like this. Oh boy, that thing got hot quick, didn't it? Sure did. And now you keep that baby dog whisk up. I need about four of these beef bouillon cubes in there. Okay, okay, is it getting hot enough? Got a little job security with this. You think it's a, yeah? Here, I, think. I told her I had to have her to come in to help me because I don't know how to work this newfangled stove. I'm used to flipping the switch and seeing something blue come out from under it. <laughs> now I tell you what, that's getting plenty thick. We're gonna have to borrow some water and add some more water right to here. that. And now what we're gonna do? I'm gonna tell you anything you cook that you put in gravy, sh shoot us some more of it in there. Anything you put in that gravy is not gonna taste any better than real gravy. So you got to get that gravy a roux. Just right, tasting right. It's got a little bit of brown to it right mm -hmm. now from uh, the beef bouillon cube. And you think we need to put just a little bit of cayenne yeah, in it? Yeah, a little cayenne. The yep. man really likes that. We've got to have some garlic, and I'd rather have fresh garlic, but being my garlic had done turn like it was uh, hibernating for the winter. What else do you think we need to put in that? Oh, yeah. I got us a, you can't do this without onion. We got to get this onion on in there, too. You can't cook beaver or much of any good thing without an onion. And I didn't chop them up real fine because I like them in big pieces. And that's what I, I'm, I'm just gonna reach put right over here. Okay. Put them right on in there. Okay. And i tell you something else. I didn't get any fresh mushroom, but I'm gonna put a can of mushroom in that. It's our, it's our grace. We're going to a break. When we get back, guess what? It won't be ready, but we're gonna work on it. Yes, ma'am. I'm talking to you. Can you hear me? No. Well, how did you know to ask me? You said no. You must have heard me. I hear you now. Huh, ma'am? I hear you now. Okay. 
I see you cooking a big old rack on television. I want to know, have you ever cooked some armadillos? Because I don't have one. That's the only reason I haven't cooked one on here. If somebody addressed one and bring it to me, I promise you we'll, we'll have stuff for armadillo. I got a great, great recipe for armadillo. And you know the best part about it, those purses are becoming very fashionable. So when you get through, you save the pot that you cooked in and make a lady's purse out of it. Make a purse? Ma'am? Make a purse out of it? Yes, ma'am. Oh, my Lord. You make me nauseated. Ma'am? Why don't you why, why don't you come in and cook with me one day? I bet you know how to cook. No, I don't know how to cook them. They just run all over my yard down here. Yes, ma'am. Alabama, Georgia. Yes, ma'am. I just wondered if you'd try cooking one of those things. I'm saying yes, ma'am. There's a lot of things I don't know what I'm agreeing to. Huh? <laughs> yes, yes, ma'am. I agree with you. <laughs> yeah, I did. Cooking a rat on the table. Yes, ma'am. Oh, basically, no, she you all understand? Think she's no. talking about cooking a rattlesnake. Yeah. Oh, yes, ma'am. It's pretty good, but it, it it won't measure up to a good beaver, I can tell you that. All you do with a rattlesnake, you sit and pick little bones all the time. Now, you sit down with this beaver, you eat your plate of good meat. The cabbage don't over there. Yes, ma'am, and uh, you know, beaver, I don't know if you know this, but now beaver will, will work on a vegetarian diet because beavers don't eat anything but vegetables. <laughs> so, so, so that qualifies for vegetarian yeah. diet, wouldn't it? In some circles, I imagine I, it would. I guess it's kind of like a cow, though. A cow does that, too. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I appreciate you watching and joining, and, and, and we need your input, okay? Hold on, now. We're going to watch you take up. Have you ever had a fresh cooker roll up with you? I have not, but it does sound exciting. Well, I'll tell you what. I forgot one one time, and I had turnips hanging from the ceiling. Had me some turnips in it. And that baby blew out, and it'll shoot turnips out. I mean, it'll shoot them up about six foot, and it puts mm. enough pressure to stick them to it. So, you, you know, that's when we painted our ceiling green. We just said we'd just go ahead and let it. <laughs> no, but it did make a mess. And so, you know, pressure cooker's great, but you really have to... Have to watch it. Yeah, so that's the reason I'm backing off and letting you watch it, because they will blow up. <laughs> well, I'll tell you gonna, what, huh? I've never cooked with a pressure cooker before. I know it turns out some good stuff. Yeah, it makes it tender. We're going to be right back. This doesn't need much tenderized, mm -hmm. does it? Boy, that thing's fishing take off now. You better be turning it down. You ready? Yeah, turn her down. You know. We got a big beaver down behind us down there. I think I'm going to give me one of them in Well, I'm going to tell you something. The way this uh, uh, economy is going, we all might learn to love beaver, haven't we? <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Yes, sir. I want to speak to Mr. Cavan, please. You got him. Yes, sir. What's on your mind? I want to know where can I find some beaver. You buy it, you buy it from a beaver salesman. Where is where is where is it sold? You know what? People are calling me all the time, and they got beavers that they want to get rid of. You know, and now, now, now I joke a lot, but beaver, you can hunt beaver all year round. Well, coyote, but I'm not a big fan of cooking coyote. I'm not a hunter either, Mr. Cavan. But now the beaver, the beaver, if you uh, maybe maybe somebody that's got beavers that's taken them out of the pond. I'll, I'll give us a call and we'll tell people how to get them a nice beaver, okay? I sure would. I, 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 live, I live in LaGrange, Georgia. And yeah. I need to know who to call so I could, I really think I would enjoy eating that. I well, like I tell you what, it, it, it'll fool you. I mean, and I, I think everybody here has tried it. It has really been fooled, the texture, the meat, how tender it is, how, how good it was. And I mean, it was just barely cooked, up, just, just done. So, so you like it, and we'll see if we can find how to get some beavers for you, okay? I know, and put it on, I look at the show every day, so please find out so I can get me some. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Now this is ready for company to come in. Gonna be tender, and it, really we didn't do it. But now some rice, ooh, that'd be so good on right. rice. Now this beaver came out of my lake, and my friend Henry got that beaver. And you know, I'm a firm believer. Did he shoot him or trap him? He, he shot the beaver, but uh, you, you know, every animal's got to live, and he's just trying to get him a nice tree, too. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, he won't quit. He's busy as a beaver all night long. He cuts every tree you got down. He eats them up. The first thing you look, you don't have any trees for the little fish to get mm -hmm. under. And so, you know, he was, we didn't waste the beaver. Time to go. <laughs> We thank y'all for being with us. Hope y'all have a blessed weekend. Join us in. If you don't want beaver, go to Butler's Pantry. They got real food there, too. <laughs>